The desert is a place of extreme heat, limited shelter, and lack of water. Yet in the midst of this harsh country, desert rivers flow freely and support an amazing diversity of life. Streamside lands support over 70% of all threatened birds, mammals, fish, reptiles, and amphibians. These valuable streamside habitats are called riparian areas. Not only do riparian areas provide homes for native wildlife, but they also serve as an important resource for people. The sand, gravel, and rocks at the bottom of the stream filter pollutants from our water. By holding stream banks together, plant roots help slow floodwaters. Ranchers depend on these areas to provide their cattle with food and water. People who live in cities use these areas to hike, fish, or simply relax. These special places can even be outdoor laboratories, allowing scientists to determine the effects of these activities on the land. The Bureau of Land Management, or BLM, is a federal agency in charge of managing public lands. The BLM takes on the challenge of managing our desert rivers in ways that keep the river healthy while letting the public make use of the land. The riparian stream that you see here is being monitored by students from the Phoenix Union High School District. What they're helping the Bureau of Land Management do is to give us vital scientific information through monitoring to enable us to make good management decisions. Four. Four. When I'm out here doing these, these things for the Audubon, I feel like I'm doing something important for, for nature, that I'm not just sitting somewhere doing nothing. The vegetation is low right here. Monitoring is the foundation of responsible land management. Riparian areas, or streamside habitat, can tolerate some disturbance, but if the disturbance is too great, the area will be damaged. You can see where the cars come in and break the banks and through the stream, and it kills all the vegetation. Regular monitoring allows scientists to track the level of disturbance in riparian areas. This allows them to decide when to allow cattle to graze and where to place fences to keep out off-road vehicles. One important thing that we look at when we determine the health of a stream is the streamside vegetation. In many cases, the roots of these plants are the only force holding stream banks together. Without these root structures, flowing water would pull the soil into the stream, causing it to become warm, wide, and shallow. This would limit the stream's ability to support wildlife or human uses. I love nature. It's peaceful. Nice to hear the stream go by. You do not have to go far to visit one of these valuable riparian areas. For example, the Algarfria River, located just 40 miles north of Phoenix, provides wintering and breeding habitat for so many birds that Audubon, Arizona has designated it an important bird area. The Algarfria River is one of 40 important bird areas in Arizona. Audubon, Arizona is the state office of the National Audubon Society. Our mission is to conserve birds, other wildlife, and their habitats, and we often partner with organizations like the Bureau of Land Management to accomplish our goals. Audubon biologists gather and analyze field data in order to determine the health of bird populations and their habitats. The Awafria River is on public land. This means that this river does not only belong to one person or one group, it belongs to all of the American public. This provides both unique challenges and opportunities. Not only do these areas need to be managed for wildlife, but they also need to be managed to ensure that all human activities can continue without infringing upon the needs of other people or species. This need for management creates countless career opportunities. Just imagine, you could have a career where you can call a beautiful riparian area your office while preserving one of our state's most valuable resources for everyone.